Hi, it's Agnes and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different video to share with you and this is my Chanel handbag collection. So yeah, I, I last week I did the entire design handbag collection but it was so quick that one of my subscribers requested for me to do like in parts. So yes, I'm going to do it in parts. I've done part one, which is the Louis Vuitton uh, handbag collection. And then now I am doing the Chanel handbag collection as part two. And then part two, we, part three will be my Gucci handbag collection. And then I will do the random pieces that I have as part four. So let's get started and see what I have in my Chanel collection. Sorry, I just dropped some of the bags. So first of all, I'll start with this beautiful bag that I have. It's called the Chanel a uh, bubble cutting bag it is right here it's a big bag which i am so happy that i have it's so big that you can use it as a weekend bag so that's how i use it because uh, when i'm going shopping i like smaller bags so this is like my weekend uh, my weekend bag so yeah, here it is it's in lambskin leather so it's really delicate and I, I baby it a lot because obviously, yeah, it, it easily scratches. And yeah, so again, all my Chanel bags are pre-loved. Some of them are in good condition. Like this one is in almost perfect condition. But I just love this bag. It's, yeah, all bubble cuted all around. So again, it's uh, lambskin leather. And it's got these chain straps which pull together once you lift it. The more heavier it becomes and then it just pulls it so that's how it closes but it's meant to have a, like a a larger or crossbody um strap or a shoulder strap but it didn't come with a with that strap which i was aware about when i got it so i've only got these two which i don't mind but maybe in future i can look for a, a longer strap so that it can slouch and use it as a a, a tot and but Nonetheless, it's still a tot, but it's just that it pulls together, which is okay, and I like it that way. And it's only got this big um, gold hardware CC, which is right here, which is attached to the, to the it's attached to the chain. So, yeah, I, I love it. I just like how delicate it is, and it's so comfortable to carry actually because it's got these large uh, leather straps. Uh, leather pass on the straps. It's so comfortable when you put on the shoulder No matter how heavy and it does carry a lot of stuff. I've used it once for um, as a weekend getaway And yeah, I got lots of compliments. It's kind of a limited uh, edition. It's unusual But it's oh, it's beautiful Lovely bag So that's the first one and the next so I think I'll start with the larger bags. I keep dropping my bag the next bag I show is a Chanel GST. It's a vintage bag, and this is in the uh, caviar leather. It's in a baby pink color, so it's quite worn, but you know, still usable. This bag has been discontinued by Louis Vuitton. They don't make it anymore, but you can find it on the pre-loved market. So they are the vintage ones, and they were the modern ones. I think that were made in the late years before they discontinued it. So this was like one of the late, the early. Uh, Chanel GST, yeah, so that's the grand shopping tot. I love it. It's uh, a well-made bag. I don't know why they stopped it, but yeah, it's a good bag. And I just like the way it's old, it's vintage. It still hasn't lost its um, blush or baby pink color. Yeah, I love it all the way. It's beautiful, it's in silver hardware. Yeah, and again, as I said, it's durable. But the only thing it's got some wear on the corners, but that I, I, that doesn't bother me a lot. But I I love this bag as well. So it's another weekend getaway bag, or when I'm going on my short uh, holidays, like just going to Wales or going to Scotland, I would carry that. So let's move on with the bigger bags. Uh, next bag is my Holy Grail. This is my Holy Grail. This bag I love it. I think it's like, is it my favorite of the Chanel bags? Yes, it is. I think I love the color. I love the size of it. It's in lambskin leather. It's a vintage uh, Chanel bag. It's got a chunky strap. 
and this is real gold cutting gold plating it's 18 karat gold plating which they used in the olden days and as i said it's a vintage bag it's it's just a gorgeous bag it's beautiful it's a well-made bag yeah it's a maxi oh this bag is gorgeous i love everything about this bag again it's too big like to carry every day so it's like a weekend bag or holiday or you know when you're carrying more stuff it's it's beautiful and another bigger bag that i have is another chanel grand shopping tot in um lambskin in black so this is my, my other chanel gst yeah so the difference the the uh cavilla that is more structured and then the lambskin after some time kind of slouches so this is my chanel uh gst in lambskin in gold hardware it's a pity that they discontinued these bags but they're lovely bags so but yeah it's beautiful i just i love it as well i like the fact that it's in black and that one the other one is in baby baby pink and this is in lamp skin so it's more delicate yeah that's my um i've done four so far and another bigger bag that i have is another very vintage bag this is really old um old chanel bag it's the beige color it's in um uh, it, it feels like lambskin i'm not sure but it's a bit tougher than the usual lambskin the usual lambskin is soft but this one is sort of smooth i mean yeah um it's tough like i don't think it is it scratches this one i don't know i don't know whether it's time that's made it to dry out i'm not sure but instead of the chain strap it's got this leather strap and yeah it's in a beige color and here the cc is yeah, the brooch size cc it's really an old bag i got it from, from an elderly friend of mine and yeah she said she's had it for decades so it's an old old very old chanel bag but i like it it's actually big it's not small or anything it's actually a big bag so um next let's see what we have we have um a baby bag it's a little camera bag a small chanel bag that i got from uh I, the same friend elderly lady she yeah she said she had this little bag for years and tiny chanel bag um with gold hardware uh, yeah it's it's a, it's a beautiful tiny just all plain all round it's a very vintage bag so yeah like this one as well and then up next what should i show you next uh i'll go to my chanel um jumbo i've got two three four chanel jumbos different size different design so this is i think which one is my holly grail is it the beige one or the red one yeah probably both this is another holly grail this is another bag that i love so much sentimental value my husband got this one for me as a present on one of our anniversaries yeah it was pre-loved and i just like the red color um yeah and the gold hardware it's a very gorgeous bag this in caviar leather again a well-made bag uh yeah this trap is in actually very good condition i think of all my chanel bags this is the one that is in like almost perfect condition i love love this bag yeah it's a pity that it's red you know you can't carry red all the time so i like to carry this bag in the summer and once in a while in other seasons as well when i'm going for an occasion but it's red you know what i mean yeah and i don't have so much i do have red red outfits but not very um not a lot for going out with i have casual red outfits like this dress i'm wearing but I don't have like proper uh, outfits to go out with in red, but it goes with. You can wear white, you can wear um, beige, you can wear black with red. It goes very well, and mostly when I carry this bag, I will be wearing red. That's how I wear it when I'm going out, like for an occasion. I should have a black outfit, and then I'll carry my um, red Chanel bag 
with maybe another pop of red maybe a red shoe you know yeah so gorgeous bag so that's my number six and number seven i have this little bag another very vintage bag that i got from the same lady yeah she, i bought lots of bags from her so this is a, a beautiful chanel bag which she she kind of hesitated selling this bag but again she said she had not used it for years so it's another beautiful tiny uh old uh, vintage bag you can see this this is a big gold hardware they are like real gold plated and it's, she said it's really really old this bag as well so another lucky finds so uh what next well let me just show you this little pouch and yeah a friend of mine audrey suggested i can use it like a miniature bag i think it's a good idea <laughs> hey audrey if you're listening but yeah it's a good idea i could maybe spend when i'm going out in the evening uh for dinner or just for a drink yeah so that's this is a chanel pouch it was meant to be for um, a Blackberry phone years ago, like 10 years ago or so. But obviously, it's uh, the phone is outdated and it's just a little pouch. But yeah, it's so pretty. It's in lambskin leather and silver hardware. Next is another Holy Grail, another bag that I love so much. This is my Chanel Jumbo in black. It's in lambskin leather. Here it is. Oh, I love this. the delicacy of this bag. And guess what? I don't carry this bag a lot. I don't know why. I think because it's so delicate. I once carried it and then I cr scratched it somewhere. It's got a scratch mark somewhere. So I yeah, I bumped into it like a rough wall or something. Then got some scratch. I was really disappointed. So since then, I don't like carry it a lot. I do, but not like a lot. So it's in uh, lambskin leather. It's a vintage piece as well, as you can see. The cutting is a bit flat, so it is a vintage Chanel bag. It's in silver hardware, as I said earlier. And yeah, classic um, double flap Chanel jumbo. So it's one of my Holy Grail or favorite bags. Love, love this bag as well. Every bag I think that I have, I love them. I always say the same thing, that I love this bag, things like that. So my next bag is a... Uh, a bag that is called uh, reissue but it's in the two is it 255 size is it 255 yes yeah, size 255 i think um yeah so this is called the reissue because the original chanel which i will show you was had this design that's the original bag that chanel coco chanel made and then obviously this was uh issued this type with the big with the cc's but the one this design the earlier one was designed first i think in the 50s in the 50s or 60s or something like that but obviously this is an old bag as well but the lady i don't know what she did with the strap it didn't come with a strap i was aware so the price was reduced a little bit i don't know whether she just wanted to use it as a clutch but i wish i'd left the strap and she couldn't find the strap so one day i will find a replacement but i still like it it's in gray in um, calf skin so this leather is so tough it doesn't scratch yeah it's really like tough leather so yeah this is the only bag that is made in italy all my chanel bags are made in france apart from this bag this is made in italy and i like the gray i, I just realized i don't have much gray in my bags yeah i don't have gray so much gray so i think it's something that i have to consider buy like a proper or oh, big gray bag so yeah that's my chanel um reissue bag all right next i have the cambon bowling bag it's in lambskin as well so most of my bags are in lambskin so this is the cambon bowling bag i love this bag as well like it's it's one of my first i mean my my best bags well made bag it's so delicate as well because it's lambskin obviously and this is the back. It's got a pocket on the back as well. So, yeah. I, I do carry this one a lot in the summer. I don't know because of this white, you see. But 
it's a gorgeous bag to have in my collection as well so it's called the Cambon bowling bag I don't know whether they're still making these bags but there's a lot of them on the pre-loved market and there is a tote design and there's they also have wallets but yeah and they come in different colors as well and there's a beige there's a, there's a baby pink but I'm glad I, I got it uh, in black on the pre-loved market so love this bag as well next I have two more I think um, yeah they just dropped on the floor so the next bag is called the Westminster bag it's, it's in the it's size jumbo it was a limited edition I don't know whether it was 2014 or earlier than that I can't remember I did research but I can't remember the year again so it was just released for a year like a season it's a seasonal bag yeah it's called the Westminster Westminster yeah so it's got this the um, uh, signature of this bag the Westminster appears so the closure here is all pearls, the CCA in pearls. And then here where the strap goes through, there are pearls. And it's got this chain, this uh, like, there are different chains. And it's supposed to have a pearl chain as well, like a pearl strap, which didn't, which uh, I don't know what happened, but it was missing when I got it. But yeah, so this is the bag, it's got a pocket as well on the bag. As I said, it's in lambskin. But whoever the previous owner was, this one, yeah, I also got this on the pre love market. Did not look after this bag very well. It's not supposed to be that very old. And the corners, especially this corner, is really worn. But I have tried to recondition it and I'm still reconditioning it because it's, it's kind of dry. But yeah, that's another beautiful bag that I love so much. That's the um, Chanel uh, Westminster. Uh, jumbo size bag and the last piece in my collection is a very very vintage piece like I think it was made in the 1960s or maybe early 70s because this is the original Chanel bag you No, know, like I explained this design was it was rede redesigned and it was called the reissue so this is in the, the original in the jumbo size the original uh, Chanel bag which is really really old again i got it from the, uh, my, uh, my elderly friend so she told me a bit of the uh, history about this bag so it's it's an antique bag so it's not vintage it's an antique because it's probably more than uh probably cost close to 40 or maybe more than 40 years old yeah so it's it's yeah it's lovely it's in the calf skin yeah the leather is really really tough and it was well looked after, though it was really battered when I, when I got it, it was battered like it was worn. So I've been stuffing it and I've been reconditioning it, conditioning it with leather conditioner to bring it back to this uh, um, shape. And the texture is a lot better now. So it's in like a distressed leather in uh, calf skin, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous of something that is original. So I think this is the last bag to show you. That's that's the, yeah, the last bag to show you. That's my last Chanel bag. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching. If you are new, you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to watch more of my videos and don't forget to press that notification button so every time I upload a video, you are notified. Thank you so much for your time and it's bye for now. See you next time.